Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to learn how to create a 3D logo reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see what we are going to create today. So as you saw in the preview the animation looks very good and at the same time it's very easy to create. Now this is the updated version of the 3D logo reveal animation tutorial which I already have on my channel and in fact it is one of the most popular video on this channel. So this is the updated version of that tutorial. Now I'm using a different technique in this tutorial as compared to the earlier one. Both the techniques are perfect for creating this kind of animation. So I would totally recommend you to check out both the tutorials. So watch that tutorial after this video. So with that being said, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. The width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds. So after that switch to the 3D render tab and from here you can change the render engine from classic 3D to cinema 4D. Now make sure to do this change because if you do not do this you won't be able to get the 3D effect. So after that just simply click on ok. Now we have our composition. So I've already imported a YouTube logo over here and I can simply import it into this composition just like this. Now you can use whatever logo you want, just make sure that it is a PNG file and it has a transparent background just like this. Also make sure your logo has sharp edges which will give it a more nice 3D look. Now we have our logo over here. So the next step is I'm going to select the layer, then I'm going to go to the layer and from here we are going to select this option called auto trace. Just click on that. Now it will give you this dialog and from here we are going to change some of the settings. So make sure the time span is current frame and from this channel option just make sure that the alpha is selected and after that the tolerance we are going to set this to 1 pixel and the threshold will be 100% minimum area you can leave it to 7% and you can click on this icon to enable the preview so now you can see we have this outline on this logo and just click on ok so now you can see we have traced our logo but actually this is a mask so we need a shape in order to create the 3d depth so first we are going to select this then search for path and you can see that it will give you the masks path and it has already created a keyframe so you can select the keyframe then press ctrl c to copy this now our next step is to create a shape so go to the toolbar and you can select the pen tool and just make sure that none of the layer is selected after that you can draw whatever shape you want just like this so once you have your shape again search for path and you can see that we have this path property so just click on that and after that you can press ctrl v to paste the keyframe so now you can see we have created our shape and i'm going to quickly close this up now we don't need this auto trace layer so i can delete this and i'm going to place this shape layer below our logo now you will notice that its anchor point is not in the center so i'm going to select the layer then you can hold down the control key or command if you are on mac then just double click on this pen behind anchor tool and it will make the anchor point in the center so now i'm going to quickly scale my logo so i can set this to something like this so let's go with 40 or maybe 50 and i'm going to do the same scaling on this shape layer as well so now you can see we have both the layers now we are going to add some 3d depth to this so for that we are going to select both the layers and turn on the 3d option you can do that by simply clicking on this icon and after that you can select the shape layer and you can go under the layer properties and from here we can see we have this geometry options and if you go under it you can see we have this option called extrusion depth so we are going to use this so if i increase its value you can see that nothing is happening because right now we don't have any kind of camera in our scene so we can go to layer new and just click on camera and from here we can select the 35 millimeter preset just click on ok now once you have created the camera you can press c on your keyboard or you can use this unified camera tool by clicking on this icon and after that you can just simply click and move around the 
logo and now you can see we are able to see the 3d depth and you can increase it by using this value so if i increase its value you can see that the depth is increasing now it's completely up to you however you want so for this example i'm going to set this to something like 150 just like this so yeah this is looking good now you will notice one more thing that the 3d extrusion color is matching our logo so yours might be different so you can change that by simply selecting the layer then you can select any of the shape tool and from here you can see we have this option called fill so you might be having a different color so all you have to do is just select your logo color and after that you can just lower down its brightness or you can change the color to make it a little bit darker just like this so once you are happy with this and you can simply click on ok just make sure that this color is little bit darker as compared to the main color so now we have this 3d logo now there is one more thing if i select the camera tool and if i move around you will notice that it creates some sort of glitches on the logo so in order to fix that what you have to do is just select the shape layer then you can press p on your keyboard and from here i am going to change the z property so just type 0.1 just like this so now we have offset it by a 0.1 pixel now you won't be able to see any kind of glitches so we have our logo now i want my 3d depth to move with this logo so in order to do that i'm going to select the shape layer and then just simply parent it to the logo layer and now you can move your logo layer wherever you want and you can see that our shape layer is following it you can also scale it up or scale it down however you want so we are pretty much done with this and now let's set up our scene so first i'm going to create a solid so you can just right click new solid and i'm going to select a little bit of off white color something like this now if you want you can add a gradient ramp to this and you can pick whatever colors you want so let's select something like this and you can probably change this to radial ramp and let's change it to something like this you can also swap colors so now we have this really nice gradient look now I'm going to quickly place the white solid to the bottom of all this layer. So now you can see we have our logo. Now in order to make this scene look more natural, we need some kind of shadow. But if you apply the drop shadow effect onto the shape layer, it won't work. So in order to fix that, what we are going to do is I'm going to select the logo layer, then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And after that, I'm going to move this copy just below our shape layer. Now we want this logo copy to be placed behind this 3d extrusion so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to change from active camera to left and now you can see we have the side view so i can simply select the layer and then from this i can change its c position and i can try to match it to the very end or you can select the layer press p and you can use the slider for precision and just make sure that it's align at the very edge just like this so now i can go back to the active camera just like this now you can search for an effect called drop shadow and you can just simply apply it onto this logo and you can play around with these parameters so first i'm going to increase the softness so now you can see that we have this really nice soft shadow and you can play around with the position of the camera to view it from a nice angle just like this now it's totally up to you however you want to play around with this shadow so you can play around with these parameters and you can go for different looks and i think this is looking good yeah so we are going to use this one so now we are pretty much done with our scene our next step is to animate this so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the camera and delete it and i'm going to create the camera once again so that all the values have been reset just like this so now you can see we have the front view now we are going to animate our camera so let's select the camera press p on the keyboard for position and let's add a keyframe so you can move it to somewhere around here and let's go in the very beginning and let's turn around and you can place your camera wherever you want you can make it to come from this angle or from top wherever you want it's totally up to you so I'm going to place my camera to somewhere around here just like this so now if I play back here you can see we have this 3d camera movement 
and I'm going to select the keyframes. Then you can press F9 or you can just simply right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease them. After that, just click on this icon and it will take you to the graph editor. Now, if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph. And from here, I'm going to change the graph to look something like this. So now if I play back, here you can see we have created this really amazing animation. And this is looking good. Yeah. So now I'm going to animate our logo as well. First, let's select this layer and I'm going to parent it to the main logo so that we can only animate this one and all the animations will be applied to the logos below. And I'm going to quickly add a scale animation. So it is scaling from 0 to 50 and we can probably move the keyframes ahead. Again, you can press F9, then just play around with the graph just like this. So now if I play back, here you can see we have created this really amazing logo reveal animation. Now if you want, you can also add rotation to this. You can add a rotation keyframe and in the beginning, you can add some rotation again F9 then just change the graph just like this maybe let's add more rotation to this so now if I play back here you can see we have added rotation to this as well so if you want to go with this look it's totally up to you but for this one I'm not going to use any rotation just the scaling and the position animation will do now if you think the animation is too fast you can Select the keyframes and just move it a little bit ahead, just like this. Now you can see the animation is looking much better. Now if you want, you can also add a light sweep to this. So you can search for an effect called CC light sweep. Just simply drag it onto your logo, just like this. So now you can see that we have this light beam. So you can play around with its intensity. You can make it more intense. You can also increase its width and you can increase the edge intensity as well just like this now we can animate it by simply moving it somewhere around here in the beginning so let me just quickly select a position so this is looking good and i can add a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch and let's move it somewhere around here and then i can move it to somewhere like this so now if i play back here you can see we have added some really nice shine look to this logo just looking perfect again if you want you can play around with the keyframes to make this animation look smoother now if you want you can change the background color so if i select this and i can just change the end color to this red color now you can see that it has completely changed the look of our scene if you want you can go with this look as well so this is how you can create this 3d logo reveal animation in after effects now the only downside to this method is that if you want to change your logo then you'll have to repeat all the processes once again. So if you want to tackle this problem then you can check out this tutorial of mine and in this one I've used a different technique using which you can easily replace your logo with minimum efforts and it will automatically update your animation. So make sure to check out this video as well. So I hope you learned something from this video. Also, if you want to learn more things like these, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.